Hi! Hello! And welcome on back to the Firefly channel! We're picking up with Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. So join me. We're gonna roll right into it. For the record, I know nothing about these games. But I do know about that guy. He used to be pretty, uh, famous. Ezio. Oh, whoops. <laughs> it needs to be clicking, and I'm just like, oh, it's a cutscene. Diagnostics. I'll get back to you. Oh, that's kind of cool. Looks like a solar system. We got the Earth. Um. Oh boy, I can't recall the other planets off the top of my head. Time for a refresher. <laughs> Desmond, I don't understand. Please, wait. I have so many questions. Okay, this is kind of cool. They kind of just threw me into it. I don't know what we're doing, but we're gonna roll into it. <laughs> uh, okay. This cutscene to not cutscene to cutscene transition is very strange. I'm liking that outfit. It's a nice red, black, or perhaps a dark blue combination. Yeah, you know, that looks more like a. I don't know, it's a black or a very dark blue. I don't know. The sleeves have weird gesture, uh, gesture clothing. Okay, that's kind of intense. I have no idea what's going on. Honestly, I kind of appreciate their artwork on the floor. It's kind of nice. Better in the hands of the earth than in the hands of man. Uncle, <laughs> what can I say? We sent a single man against an entire army. I was worried. Quick, climb up. We have to get out of here. All right. Uh, climb up. What are we doing? What are we doing? Climb up. Hold E to turn Eagle Vision on. Oh, oh, okay. Do I just keep... Oh, I follow these. Am I, am I like, jumping that way? Alright, it automatically jumps, so that's pretty nice. Can I go up? That looks like a ledge. Oh, there we go, okay. would not believe the things I have seen, Mario. Then be sure to stay alive that I might hear of them. I expect opposition. And I expect the Borgia to mourn the loss of many lives tonight. Ah, yes. I speak that language. I know what you speak of. Oh, well, this way. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty, I can tell the controls are based on a much more classic style of character movement. Whereas modern games tend to be straight plus move Don't forward and back. You, pay for your crimes. you have desecrated the sanctity of this holy place. You condemn what you do not understand. We must go, Ezio. Now. Ah, 
Oh, okay, yeah, that's right. Push him out of the way. That's right. That's right. VIP, move. That's right. Fireflies moving through. Oh, hey, that's pretty. Oh, lovely. Oh, it's from over here. Up there. Huh. Dang, you know, I'm, I'm already kind of gawking over the architecture and the art. Like, this is actually very pretty. Especially compared to, like, modern architecture. Like, this is amazing. Wow. And this game came out, I want to say, like, in the 2010 range. Sometime around there. Be ready to fight. Be ready to fight. I didn't even get a tutorial. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, okay, okay, hold up. You from the look of uh, oh, okay, remain in the area. I'm just gonna. <laughs> okay. You still have All right, can we like get me? We're just staying in place. Got it. <laughs> I am not allowed to move. Oh, okay. Oh, and we're just gonna keep pressing buttons. Oh, that guy's dead now. And alley oop. Oh. Okay, and you're dead, you're dead, oh, and awkward, oh, ow, sir, sir. Jesus. Okay. Okay, so, okay, that's the trick. You wait for them to make a move, and then you counterplay. Hey, do you, uh, you got that, uh, you got that one guy? Good job, buddy. Like, I took out, like, 12 dudes. I really just feel like you deserve to take out the last one. <laughs> Honestly, this seems kind of neat. I like how they're just kind of throwing you straight into it. Oh, okay. Press, hold, to free run or climb. Oh, hold. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, okay, so wait a minute. Haha, I see. So holding the right mouse button allows you to traverse kind of quick, but it's not going to let you, like... It's not gonna, like, cause you to, like, jump away or jump off a ledge or interact with the environment. Whereas... I think these are his thingies? Is this the... Yep, there we go. Uh, whereas if I'm just holding down the right button, like, see, I'm, I'm, like, moving, but it's, like, there's control. And then, yeah, free movement. Okay. Ooh. I, actually, I do kind of like the transitioning on rooftops and stuff so far. Um, this actually feels very smooth, and it just it just works. <laughs> Reminds me of that guy from the Bethesda Game Studios. Uh, was it Ron Howard or something? I mean, quote him. It, all he says is it just works because it does. This decision is yours alone to make. Only do so quickly. <laughs> Taking a photo me. caused like a lag do spike. It as you will it. <laughs> Bene. Jump. Oh, that would have been a good time for a screenshot <laughs> with the title right there. And all I would have had to do is just like, I don't know, throw on like episode one in a thumbnail. Maybe toss Ezio in there. Which I'm sure if I look up like a basic uh, thumbnail editing guide, I can figure out some basics. Oh, that's neat.
Mm. And then Minerva talked about the sun. She told of a disaster that occurred long ago, and another that is coming. Sometime far in the future, Vero. Then we need not worry about it. See, si. Perhaps our work is finished. Would that be so bad? We upgraded the arsenal while you were away. No offense, well, but that's not something you, you laugh about. At visitors. My apologies. We only installed them a few days ago. My men are still being trained in their use. Can we train them in a way where it doesn't involve them firing at us? And just casually landing dangerous weapons like 20 feet away from me? Like, am I asking too much? Please let me know. Like, oh boy. <laughs> just the way he's like hunched over on the horse just looks humorous. I don't know why. There's a lot of uh flipping. Welcome back, Ezio. Madonna. Ezio! Look, it is Ezio! Let me see! Buongiorno! Salve, it's good to be home. Two of them. This place just keeps getting better. Thanks to you. Brother! Claudia. It is good to be home. How is mother? She's fine. I, I heard you were returning, but I'm glad to see it with my own eyes. The Contessa of Forli is here to welcome you. I had no idea you were so famous. Katarina? Here? Is it finished then? Is the Spaniard truly dead? Gather the others in Mario's study tonight. I'll explain everything there. Okay. So I'm starting to get the questions. picture of what happened in prior Claudia. installments. Now the Contessa, I look forward to seeing her this evening. Wait, what did I just do? Oh, okay, grab. Can I grab you? Is that a thing? Ooh, he got skills. Oh, snap. Yo, bro. <laughs> I could grab him. <laughs> I can just throw him around? Is he not going to do anything? Hey, buddy. Oh, I can headbutt him. Can I? Hey, buddy. So nice to see you. I haven't seen you in years, bud. <laughs> it's just like... Knee. Punch, headbutt. So lovely to see you, bro. Just how are you doing? Just, I just, I don't know why. <laughs> this is how we greet old buddies. <laughs> oh, okay, oh, okay, that's that's fucking awesome. Oh my god. Oh, let's go see what these exclamation points are about, shall we? Um, am I going the right way? I always get stuck with this. Ah, a wonderful lady so in need of help. Need some help. Salve. So many flowers. Your husband must be very lucky. I am the lucky one. I have you here to aid me. Let me see what I can do. Okay, so we got I some... Wrong impression. Oh? I have no husband. The flowers are for a party. Am I invited? To Claudia Auditori's birthday party in the villa. If you are willing to help me again, I need someone with class to accompany me. What makes you think I have class? I could tell the moment I saw you. No one in this town walks with such bearing. I'm certain Ezio Auditori himself would be impressed. Oh? What do you know of Ezio? Claudia thinks the world of him, but he rarely visits her. From what I gather, he's distant. Mm -hmm. She's right. I have been. Okay, so that that's you? something. The party was intended to be a surprise. Promise you will not tell Claudia. What will you do to keep me quiet? I am sure I can think of several things. I'll be waiting to hear them when we get there. Oh. Oh, we got ourselves a player. <laughs> he's, uh, he's back for, what, five minutes and he's already trying to clap some cheeks? Like, my man. <laughs> my silence. I have something in mind. There is one condition. Anything. You must wait until tomorrow. 
If it pleases you, I will not stand in your way. It will be worth it. <laughs> oh, he was sounded a little salty. Like, what do you mean, wait till tomorrow? I will not stand in your way. <laughs> I don't know, I kind of like this mixture so far, this little mixture of uh, gameplay versus cutscene. I don't know, right now it just seems pretty... Um, it works. It just, it works. That's, that's kind of how I feel about it. It just feels like it's working. And it helps kind of give you some gameplay while doing some actual visual storytelling, and I'm a fan of that. Um, speaking of visual storytelling, I just found this show, um, I think it's like on Hulu or something, uh, called Primal. It's, uh, so far there's been zero actual dialogue. Oh, I can't get up here. Uh, okay, let's drop down. There's been zero actual, like, dialogue so far. Hmm, there's no way over here, so we'll go to the other side, maybe. And, uh, it's about some, like, caveman whose family dies to some T-Rex-esque, uh, um, dinosaurs. And eventually those dinosaurs uh, make a move on other creatures. He ends up befriending like this one creature who lost, you know, who had a similar experience. And um, ends up... Uh... Oh, whoops. Nope, oh, drop. Oh, it's not here. Okay, maybe it's... Oh, it's got to be low at the gate. But there's this thing right here. Uh, I don't know, just, just check it out. If y'all uh, like... More so, visual storytelling. Primal. Cannons? Sulu. Yes, Check it out. Ezio. May I try one? Yes, but... Go on. Tell him. We cannot seem to make them work properly, and the fool who mounted them is nowhere to be found. Then it is up to me to find Well, who hired a fool to mount time? something as important as cannons? Trouble. I have all the time in the world now. Yeah, I mean, when it comes to the defense of your castle, which is essentially like your kingdom, I guess, I don't know. You probably... Huh, there's no visual indicator other than the map. Got it. Um, you probably do need your cannons and, and what, you know, your items to defend yourself with all working in order. Salve, Messere. We need you to fix the cannons on the battlements. Leave me be. I do not begin repairs before noon. Do you know what time it is? I make cannons, not clocks. If you are busy, someone else will fix them. Uno momento. <laughs> no one else will touch my cannons. Ah, there we go. Soldiers Cooperation. Have no respect for artillery. They expect a gun to work like magic. Uh huh. We need to feel her out. Give her a little encouragement. Uh -huh. We are only equipped with simple cannons now, but I got hold of a design from France. Yeah? A hand cannon. Something called a wrought iron murderer. Imagine oh. firing a cannon from your hands. <laughs> that yeah. is the future. I guess so. Like, who walks on the sidewalk, bro? I'm walking on the ledge. Like, do you not know this is Assassin's Creed? Not pedestrians go time? Like, <laughs> like what is this? What have you done? We use them. They were not ready for firing. You could have gotten us all killed. Let me see. <laughs> His breath is more fatal. You know, graphically, than it's okay. I just think a lot of the Only clipping is a main issue. Fools are shooting them. There, try it. <laughs> what did he do? All you did was move a, a little thingy. I don't feel like you really fixed this. Hey, I'm gonna need to, to speak to the manager. Up. Ooh. Oh yeah, let's use these, the D-pad, cause uh... Oh my. Okay. Target's killed. Um, to be fair, if it's not a living thing, you can't really kill it. Just saying. Oh, and for those wondering, there is no difficulty setting. It was just straight up, um... The aiming mechanism is fine. The problem must be behind the cannon. Oh, yeah, like the guy who decided to flip a switch. I'm offended. Um... I gotta admit, <laughs> the lack of detail out there, like, oh my god, look at the trees. 
right there that my cannons like got selected um, at the barrel tip. It's like, holy crap, there's just so minimal detail out there. Like, this is what games used to have to do. At least someone here knows how to shoot. Now, for I must go. Thanks for your help. If you hear the cannons tomorrow, do not worry. We will be practicing at dawn. Dude in the so middle is just staring him down, like, why is this guy here? Very funny. Now fix the second cannon. <laughs> okay, so I'm guessing the best route down is probably the side I came back up on. Is this really how he descends? <gasps> oh, oh my gosh, okay. Um, <laughs> I did not mean to jump down like that, oh my lord. Oh. Buongiorno. Ezio, Mario is going to murder me. His I eyes lost pop. His favorite horse. Do not despair. I will bring it back. God bless you, Ezio. Huh? Oh. Oh shoot. Okay. That. Got it. Just run up on him and mount. Just mount him. I can mount. <laughs> if something needs to be mounted, it's a man's job to mount. Alright, no, come back here. Come on! Please, make this easy on me, what are you doing? No! No, ah, ah there you go. Ah. Actually, that was pretty easy, hell yeah. I'll take it. So far, they're just throwing really simple tasks at me, like... I guess this is like meant to be a tutorial, like a warm-up, I'm... I'm not getting the vibe. I can no longer keep up with the horses. Promise me you will enjoy your good health. Do not spend as much time in battle as your Uncle Mario. My battles have already been won. <laughs> that is good news. Arrivederci, Ezio. Gosh, I gotta appreciate this game so far. Like, I'm loving, like, just the different culture, just the architecture. Like, it's so different from where I live. Like, it's just very... just... I don't know, it's cool. Like... This is what a video game should do, you know? It, it's taking me to another world. I, I mean, quite frankly, I love it. Can I talk with these guys? Can I interact with you guys? Sarto. What is Sarto? Oi! Okay, well he does. He's highlighted. Oh. I wonder. Oh. Mercy, mercy, I've done nothing. Huh. Okay. Well, um, she was kind of like that when I got there. Oops. Buongiorno, Ezio. Oh, that's Captain, pretty. The purple red. I'm, I'm digging it. Of your presence here. I desire. Her hair is clipping through the back so badly. <laughs> so is his. <laughs> your mercenaries would be a great asset to my cause. It is likely that I can give you what you seek. But we will talk later. Oh, okay. <laughs> Mother. Machiavelli. <laughs> she looking at him like, who it the fuck done. are you? <laughs> Do not, I think, as any of us expected. I entered the Vatican and faced Rodrigo. No! He the power of the papal staff against me, but I defeated him. Combining the staff and the apple, I gained access to the vault. There, a moving painting of the goddess Minerva spoke. She told of a terrible tragedy to befall mankind in the future, but gave hope of lost temples that will provide aid to humanity. And then she called out to a phantom, Desmond, as if he were there, standing beside me. After her warning, she vanished. Amazing. That's Can crazy. You imagine such wonders. The vault did not house the <laughs> terrible weapon we feared. Him getting it jumped by a psycho priest what by the looks of it was like did she wonderful. Hear human? Yes, but her words proved otherwise. All of her kind died many years ago. I wish I could show you the magic she performed. Who is Desmond? And where are these temples Minerva spoke of? 
I do not know. Perhaps we must search for them. Has Tell me Desmond how another not. assassin? Did Rodrigo beg forgiveness? A free sky? Make excuses. Promise power in return. No. None of those things. Interesting. I'm surprised he remained so composed. I let him leave. The Spaniard lives? Once our enemies are dead, we can speak of vaults and gods and ancient places. You should have killed him. We're sure to suffer for it. I am not here to debate the past. Together, we should discuss the future. No. I am leaving immediately for Roma. Ezio, I do not know why you spared him, but I trust your judgment. Machiavelli will come around. Perhaps. I don't know, he seems pretty adamant in his uh, discomfort, his uh, almost anger at that news, so I don't know. I don't know. Um... Alright, well, hey. Um... Well, that was neat. Let's go ahead and call it here for our first episode. Uh, it looked like it was more of a learning the ropes and just showing, hey, you can pick stuff up, you can ride horses, and you will have to go and, I guess, seek out stuff at some point in missions, hence why we have to go look for the cannon guy. Um, so, yeah, we'll go ahead and just call it a little bit earlier than I normally would. I've cut it pretty close to work anyways, so... Um, yeah, thank you for watching the beginning of this Assassin's Creed 2 series. Uh, thank you for watching my video, and have a wonderful day, everybody.